I don't think I've ever spent this much in like one go. I think I have 18 receipts. I could have gone into one receipt, but they were doing this thing. First of all, this is gonna be try on, review, whatever, of the new VT and BTS collection. It just came out. They were doing a thing that if you set over 55,000 won, you can get a set of photo cards. There are posters, but I was like, I don't use posters, and like they're too big. So there's the A set and the B set. A set, B set. But I literally got like nine of each set. So along with the Monster X Tints, this has got to be one of the most requested um, collections of makeup to come out in K-Beauty recently. Yeah, I'm surprised that this came out just now. I always saw the VT Cosmetics and BTS thing, but like it was, there was never really any color makeup. So this is gonna be a very, very, very long video. So I will leave all the timestamps down below for if you wanna skip around to any certain part. For today, I'm gonna go through all the stuff and tell, show you what they have, do some swatches, and then tomorrow is when we're gonna do like the actual try on and like wear test. Now I didn't get every single thing. There's skincare and then there's makeup. For skincare, I only got the gel mist, which is basically just a mist like a skincare mist, and then the two masks. Originally, I was like, oh, can you please remove the skincare and I'm just gonna do the makeup. But I don't think she heard me, but I don't want her to be like, um, I said that I don't want it. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just get it. The only thing I'm missing, and please don't kill me for this, is just two of the colors from the lip balms. I swatched them, one was the clear one, that was sold out, and the other one was like kind of the orangey one, which I swatched and it was like so sheer, it was pretty much the clear, like the clear lip balm, but I got everything else. It's very expensive. I spent, like I said, nearly a thousand dollars. So although this is just my opinion and experience about this makeup, hopefully it'll give you an idea just in case you're thinking about it, because girl, this is just a fucking cash grab. Like they're obviously just using BTS's name, which is the whole point of like idol groups working with makeup brands. But even with this one, they have like, base products, eye makeup, lip makeup, but in the advertising, BTS wasn't wearing any of it. Maybe the foundation, but like I was watching the, she, you know, she was like scanning everything and paying, I was paying for everything. I was watching the advertising and I'm just like, are they wearing any of this? Cause like, they look like they had nothing on their lips. They look like they just had basic like foundation and concealer and that's about it. But you know what? It got people like me to buy it, so. <laughs> Let's start with the tools. I'll have all like the prices on the screen. So I don't have to keep referencing the receipts. There's a puff, like a kind of, beauty blender type of deal. It's kind of hard, to be honest. It feels like the really like, when beauty blender came out and then brands started like years ago and then brands started to try to make their own like beauty puff. It smells really strong. So you probably have to wash it, but it's really interesting shape. Um, you get this thing, so I guess you can reach into the corners of the face. And you have this side, which for the wider parts, I guess. I do like that they have English on the packaging so I can actually, like, I'll have an idea of what the product's for. It closely adheres to the curved surface of the skin. Bottom puff. Apply uniformly and smoothly the contents with Rubicel puff. There is a brush set. Comes in a pouch. I guess the Tempt collection. Really pretty, uh, glittery. Like, it's really smooth. It's not, like, rough or anything. Uh, there are five synthetic brushes in here. I did kind of look through them already. This is what the inside looks like. So you can stick the brushes in there. They come with like their own little uh, glove protector, their own little brush protector. So you can take these with you traveling so they don't mess everything in your bag up. I don't really care for them. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Now you get two face brushes. You get this, I guess, blush brush. Really, really soft. It almost feels like natural, nah, almost feels like natural hair, but it's, it's synthetic hair, um, but it's really, really soft and really uh, flimsy so it doesn't, it's not gonna disturb the skin too much and like kind of, it feel, at least it feels like it's not gonna like rub off your foundation when you're applying your powders. And then there's an angled, I guess, contour or blush brush. So you can contour your face here or apply blush. Then there's an angled brush. This one kind of feels like a Echo Tools brush. Um, I guess you can use that to fill in your brows quickly. Then you have pretty much what looks like two flat concealer brushes. I don't know why, you can see that they're kind of flat one way, um, they're both the same shape, just one is smaller than the other. I guess you can use it to place eyeshadow. I'm, su I'm surprised they don't have a blending brush. I would honestly get the set for these two face brushes, but these brushes are kind of useless to me. I mean, this one looks like it's perfect for concealer. It's synthetic and it's really thin and flat. That's the kind of uh, style I like for concealer brushes. But um, the case is pretty, I guess. I just wish that the brushes that they were included were a little bit more useful. Now let's move on to the actual makeup products. They've got the Gloria Primer, a primer that brightens and shines your skin by its fine Aurora pearls. Make your skin glow from the inside. That sounds promising. I didn't really swatch anything. I kind of just like put everything in my cart. The packaging is really nice. 
It almost feels like there's nothing in there though. It almost feels like it would be metal, but it feels like just like a heavy plastic. But it doesn't feel like there's much product in there. It's a uh, dropper and... What the hell? Mmm. It has a little bit of like a lavender sheen to it. But as I'm blending, it turns into nothing. It doesn't even leave a little bit. It's right here. It doesn't even leave a little bit of a glow. So maybe it's more of like a moisturizing primer. There's also a color corrector palette. Really amazing packaging, really high-end looking. Um, and it feels quite, it's plastic, but it feels quite sturdy. And you do get a lot of product in there. Really great sized mirror, green for redness, lavender for brightening areas of the skin, like dark areas, and peach for color correcting like dark circles. This feels a lot like the pony effect. Oh, that's nice actually. That's a good, okay, that's a good texture for color correcting. Some color correcting products can be either too greasy, so they're kind of like watery when you blend them out, and some can be too like thick. They just don't sit right under foundation, but this is like a good balance. It feels kind of like the pony effect one, almost like a really, th like you see that? It kind of color corrected the redness on my hand, but it completely disappeared into the skin. Like I don't see it on the skin sitting there. So that's great. That's what I want in a color corrector. The lavender mm, looks kind of pale, but then again, it's gonna go under foundation and lavender is meant to brighten up anyway. So peach. It seems like a pretty good shade. Like all these colors seem to be like they're gonna probably suit fair skins, but I love the texture already. I can tell I'm gonna really like the texture because a lot of times I don't really use correctors because they can be so thick and it's just adding to the thickness of the makeup on the skin. Now, surprisingly, there's six shades of foundation in this collection, which is um, an improvement from the two of their like BTS uh, cushion that they originally came out with with VT. By the way, this collection is limited edition. I forgot to mention that. I was like, if you're gonna come out with this many products, why don't you just make a whole like part of the permanent collection? Because all of this for it to be limited edition, I feel like they're gonna pull like a Jaclyn Hill and be like, oh, it's limited edition, but like it's always gonna be there. This is the Powderdation. It's a foundation that covers imperfections of the skin with optimal coverage and soft application. You can spread evenly on the skin with your fingers and lightly dab extra amount over areas requiring more coverage. So I guess it's advertised as you can use it with your hands, but uh, I'm obviously gonna use tools like the sponge. Uh, it comes with six shades and I did swatch the lightest shade and the darkest shade and the lightest shade, I swear to God was like, Usually, you know, there's like really light foundation, but this was like paper. If I need to like even out the, the tone of my eyeballs, I can use it on that because it is so white. Girl from the middle of like rolling hills of Scotland, pale, pale, or maybe it's just against my skin tone. Literally almost thought that this was, might've been like something you add to your foundation to make it lighter, but honey, that is not the case. That looks like white out. It does have more of a yellow undertone though. That is so pale. But I guess it's good for those of you that are like looking for, I, that's a number one porcelain. This is number two ivory. It seems to have pretty decent coverage. This one is more of like a little bit more neutral compared to the uh, porcelain. It seems to have a little bit of a more of a pink neutral undertone. This is number three beige. This one doesn't seem that much darker. And again, it's more of like a neutral undertone. This is number four sand. Mm. This seems to be around the ballpark of my skin tone, but it is quite pink, I will say. Five honey. Ooh, wicked pink, honey. This is really pink. And then last but not least, number six, almond. This is actually quite deep, which I was quite surprised by. If you know that Korean YouTuber, Jella, this looks like it would be her shade. This is like a large step from the other ones. That could almost be a contour for me. I guess if you're between shades, you could mix this into one of the other ones. But I have to say that's very pink red. I think the most yellow one is ironically the lightest one. They're all really neutral or pink, which I don't know how I feel about. Now for the eyebrow products, uh, product. The Super Tempting Skinny Eyebrow. Three in one eyebrow with 1.5 millimeter microfiber allows drawing the perfect eyebrow shape from the inside of the eye out towards the temples. Okay, so we got the screw brush. We've got the pencil which is very skinny. It's like the pony effect one, or maybe Anastasia Brow Wiz in the middle. Oh, we got a brow powder. That's useful, I like that. Usually I'll just like, with a pencil, I'll just draw here and blend it out, but the fact that it has a powder in there, I think that's really great. You can get a really soft inner corner. There's four shades, deep brown, ash brown, light brown, and khaki brown. Mm. That's really waxy, but like a really matte wax. 
So there's the pencil with the powder underneath. Um, they're all very red. Lots of pink in the foundations, lots of red in the brow pencils. I like kind of reddish brown here, so it's okay, but I prefer more ashy tones for the brows because that's the most natural I feel like. I don't know about the colors, but I do really enjoy the formula. It's like this waxy, matte, powdery sort of pencil. Same with the powder, it almost has like a waxiness to it. I wish there was something to indicate the difference between the different products because the packaging looks all the same for each of the colors. Doesn't matter too much if you only have one of each from each line, but it can be a little bit difficult. This is the Super Techni Skinny Gel Eyeliner. There's black, dark brown, milk brown, and rose brown. A gel pencil eyeliner makes super fine lines with 1.5 mm, again, 1.5 millimeter thick gel that is uniquely designed for drawing details and precise lines. This is number two. Well, I guess we'll start with number two. Oh, wow. That, wow, that was a terrible line. That draws on really easily. This is a color I think I would gravitate towards because it looks the most natural. This is a color I would use because I'm really, actually, <laughs> I think I would use this in my like, oh, she broke. Okay, don't squeeze too much out, or just squeeze, don't twist too much out. That's something I would use in the, wa the lower waterline or like on the outside outer triangle. Wow, that feels really like, skiddy, is that the right skiddy? That's not my finger skids across it. Cause you can feel, it, it's like this really, it's a little tacky, so it might take time for it to set. It does not feel like it's gonna budge. Like it's on there. It's like very close so you can see that it's smudging a little but it's cause I'm rubbing it right now, but feels like it's not going anywhere. We'll leave it on my hand for a little bit, but uh, really easy to draw, really thin lines, which I prefer. I don't really like super thick. That's why I don't really like eyeliner pencils. Now we've got the super tempting glitter eyeliner. These are kind of just like the 3CE like color sw eye, eye switch or like the Etude House Nunmur. I think it's called like the tear eyeliners, the highlight on your eyelid. Or like I said, your egg to give you that sort of like, I'm, I'm, I'm like crying sort of look. I really like using this because it just makes my eyes look a lot more awake. This number one Dawn, that is like a really bright, like, do you see that? White sort of thing with like a iridescent lavender blue shift. There's like pink and yellow glitters in there. They're not as glittery and chunky as the 3CE ones though. They're more shimmery. This number two luster. Somewhat similar, but it has more of like a green undertone. Not really a color I will gravitate towards, but yeah, she's there. And number three, haze. That is an even weirder color. These are such strange colors. It's like a really yellow. I can't even say gold. It's like yellow. It has like a yellow undertone to it. But uh, they all seem to have the same kinds of like shimmers, kind of like yellowy, pinky, purple shimmers. And it's just the undertone is different. Really pretty, but I like more like pinky rose golds. And then the liners, yeah, they're not really tacky anymore. You can tell that they're set. That. She's one to watch out for. All right, three mascara products. Again, all the same packaging. The only difference is like the name on the bottom, which I guess is okay. There's like a primer and then two different mascaras. The powerful mascara primer keeps the eyelashes attractive from smudging and long lasting effect. Okay. So it looks like it's just a sort of transparent sort of dealio, like there's nothing on there. It kind of fluffs up my lashes a little bit. Doesn't do anything special, but I guess it's meant to be used with uh, mascara. The triple fill mascara is a film type that is easily cleansed by lukewarm water. Then the power one is a waterproof type that is never washed. That is never washed away by water. Love the wand. Very very thin, so you can also get the under eyelashes without it like getting everywhere. Here's the power mascara. Wow. So it adds a lot of length, like a lot of length not much clumping at all. It really separates the lashes. Now keep in mind, I didn't curl my lashes, so. This is the triple film mascara. Oh wow, this really curls up the lashes. But just like the other one, it adds a lot of um, length, like a lot of length. Actually, I feel like this one adds, separates even more than the other one. 
but again, no clumping, but just not a lot of thickening. But neither mesquite adds a lot, much of volume, but it just adds length. You can see here that the left side, the triple film one, curls the lashes. And I didn't curl either side with a lash curler. Oh, look at that. Kind of just wipe away. All right, well, we're like, Halfway done. This is a super tempting shade palette. Instantly makes better dimensional face, soft and smooth adherence to the skin, customized contouring makeup in three colors. These are the colors you get. Very like yellow. Oh, that's smooth. But you do, you get a, a ton of product. I should probably wipe this off at some point. That is not a cloud contour with. That's like really pale. That's the middle shade. Can you see that? It's quite pigmented. Oh, the last color is pretty good though. It seems. Actually, just kidding. It's very orange. What? This collection is just very pink toned. I mean, I have to try it on my face, but just look at the swatches. I don't, I mean, I think most people when it comes to contour would prefer grayish, cooler tones. Not completely like dead gray because, you know, these are these would be good for the outer parts of the face to add at least warmth. So I guess you could use this like a bronzer or in a bronzery type of way to add dimension out here, but as a contour for my nose, I don't know how I would feel about that. The highlighting, three shade highlighter provides radiance and luminous sheer on the skin. With its transparent clear pearls, it makes the glamorous face. Whoever writes these captions, A plus for me. Again, same packaging. The only difference is like the very small highlight palette on the front. Oh, you get like this pale pink. Oh God, that is like chalk. Love that. Ooh, kunde. That is really pretty. I would probably have to use like a really sheer, like I have to apply that sheerly. This is like a finger swatch though. The middle like lavender shade. Ooh, looks the same, but a little bit more chalky. They're definitely more glowy rather than like shimmery glittery. And then the last one, which looks like it's more up my alley. Ooh. Okay, that one looks a little bit more natural as you can see. But, just like the other ones, more, there's no shimmer really. It's more like glowy and luminous. So that's good, I guess. Now there's two eyeshadow palettes, the super tempting eye palettes. <laughs> Number one, Modern Neutral. And number two, Tender cla Classy, Tender Classy. Bright and charming mood. It's all about a mood. Real coloring with one touch. Smooth texture without taking even though layered uses. Okay. Here's modern neutral and here is tender classy. I would say this one is more of like a rosy tone palette. While this one is more kind of like a camel brown tone palette. It seems to me like the layout is quite similar. You've got your base shade here, your kind of deepening shade, point shade, and then a kind of like transition shade here. So I guess with this one, you would just have to go with the one that you guess would suit your undertone. I could actually use either of these. Um, they're both very autumn -y color uh, palettes. So when I do swatch, I like to use like, I like to put down some foundation with like a brush swatch. Should we do that? And just in case if that brush sucks, I'll use my Pony Effect uh, shader brush. Okay, I'm gonna dip into this one. Okay. That seems to be balling up. Let me try the other brush. You can't really see that because it's kind of close to the color of the foundation. Wow, that is a uh, patchy. Love that. Of course, these might work differently on the eyes. Oh, that is so pretty. Love that. That one might be a little bit harder to see, but yeah, very rosy tones. And here's the other palette, I swatched the same. Yeah, you can definitely see all the more camely, warm brown tones in this one. And again, of course, they might work differently on the eyes and depending on the, the base you have and like the tools that you use. Okay, now for the cheek palettes. Revitalize your cheeks with soft and silky texture that lightly adheres to the skin without caking. Oh, okay, this one you can definitely see a clear difference. This is number one, Just Romantic. Very bright, cool tone pinks. And then number two, Forever, Forever Young. Very warm coral tones. Love that. I'm just gonna swatch these with my fingers. 
Very similar texture to the um, contouring powders. <laughs> that is a uh, cool toned. I would have to mix that with, with a more warmer tone, I guess. But it blends out really beautifully. Super smooth. Almost feels like HD powder. Yeah, that's definitely more up my alley. For the Gloria Lip Color Balm, soft texture with moisture, change the color to match with your lips. Vivid color and shining. A moisturizing color lip balm around lips with soft watercolor. Again, I'm missing two of these, but forgive me. This number two, Attraction. Wow. But then again, it is a lip balm, so I can't expect much. This is number three, Melrose. That's a pretty color. I'd probably use this one. I'm glad this one wasn't sold out. Number five, Moa Pop. Oh, she's shimmery. Ooh. You see that? Not just the shine from the fact that it's lip balm. That's like bright, almost like white shimmers. That could be really pretty um, if you just have like a bare face going on maybe. Oh shit. But if you wipe it off, there's like all this residual glitter there. Don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like lip glosses or lip balms that have that pretty shimmer, but then when you like the bomb like disappears, then you're left with just all this weird shimmer. All right, last but not least is the Lip Rouge. Liquid Lip Rouge specifically designed to fit lightly on the lips to provide intense and vivid lip colors. There are 10 shades, flat, it's like a doe foot, but like bent. So I guess it's easy to just do that. Um, <laughs> You can tell I'm not very excited, right? It's like 11 p.m. I'm just really tired. Number one, moment. You like rosy pink? Oh, that smells nice. Really fruity, like me. Number two, something. It's like a magenta. Number three, NVU. It's like a fuchsia pink. Lots of pinks in this makeup collection. Number four, lovesick. Okay, here we go. All right, honey. It smells so nice. It's like a pinky nude. A little bit of like an orangey undertone. Number five, Brick Up. Cute name. Um, kind of like the last one, but more of like a brick, <laughs> brick up, brick uh, undertone. Number six, Picky O. Straight up orange. To be honest with you, I'm kind of tired of these oranges. Number seven, Awesome Me. Ooh, yes. That is like a true, actually it's coming off a little bit different on camera. Giving me like Mac Ruby Woo vibes, like a bluish red. Number eight, In the Mood. Ooh, oh, that's pretty, that's freaking gorgeous. That is like a true brick color right there. Really soft formula. Number nine, Ur Urban Code. That, oh, I think that's one that's just a gloss. Took a pink with a warm gold reflex or like a golden undertone or sheen to it. Oh my god, I'm like losing my mind. And then number 10, Earth, oh, what? It has that more bluish, on, you really can't see that on camera. Can you see that right there? I don't know about you, but I'm leaning towards like, like personally, I kind of like this section here more. Really like this. I could get into this one. Wipe them off, um, very, very faint, slight staining action, even on the ones that I swatched at the beginning. So I don't see these lasting like all, all day from what I feel like. Mm, sorry, I forgot to show you the mists. There's the gel mist, like I said. Moist jelly mist helps to create a hydrating layer on the dried skin by spraying the fine mist that delivers rich moisture to the skin. Cute packaging. Their, their uh, skincare line is more of like this white packaging. It sounds like jelly. Oh, that is a fine mist. Mm. Then we have the super tempting face fixer. Setting fixer forms a thin fixing layer to offer radiance and shining of the skin. Sets the makeup perfect during the whole day. Mm. Mists on these are excellent. All right, so there's the swatches of all of the makeup. Now it's time to move on to the actual get ready with me, which I will film tomorrow. And you know what? Maybe I'll just make it a different video. So I'll see you then. Bye.